Hello everyone. Uh, as you see in the last video, I explained how to create a power app uh, to take a photo. Uh, and you see that how we can change the camera situation. Now I'm going to show you how you can able to connect the OCR button that we created in power app with our Microsoft Flow. So you will see that how, uh, what Microsoft Flow we need to create. And uh, also you will see that how we able to pass it to the power app again and also to power bi yeah. so be with me through this process thank you so in last video you see that how we create this app so you remember that this actually this is an app that we have we able to reset that one uh, see the app from different angles and also uh, from the different videos that we have we take a photo of that and we able to actually to send it for the OCR uh, today I'm going to actually to show you that how we can connect the OCR button to the app. So before I'm going through that, I want to actually sh uh, apply the cognitive services on that, uh, on the app, and then uh, show the result here in a text box. So I need to have a text box here. I'm going to put a, uh, a, just a label there, and uh, I put it here. And of course, I'm going to change the info, uh, some of the parts here. For now, I'm just going to save it. And I'm going to Microsoft Flow. I'm going to the Microsoft Flow uh, and then back again here. So you need to go to the Microsoft Flow. This is Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow is a tool that uh, manage your process, create automated workflow that can be triggered by anything. For example, in our scenario, it can be triggered by power apps. It can be triggered by new tweet, new email or anything else. So this is the first uh, this is the environment that we have here. I'm going to click on my flow here. As you see, we have an option to my flow. Uh, I have some flows that is not working. Uh, I'm going to create a new flow from scratch. So I'm click on new here, uh, create from blank. You are also able to create from the template. So here I need to see more trigger. And here I'm search for power. App. So you see that we have power apps that is our trigger. So that means that whenever user take a photo or connect through the power app, this process can be done. So this is my power apps. It doesn't need anything here. In the next step, I'm going to uh, first push the data to the SharePoint, to the OneDrive. And then from OneDrive, I'm going to apply cognitive services. So that's a bit, uh, yeah, I know that is the extra step we need to apply because of the image format. Thanks to uh, actually one of the really good people in this that actually I'm follow his process and I find out. So I'm follow the steps from uh, Paul Comsey, this actually create that one. So I'm actually follow the rest of the parts of creating my app from him. This was really good tutorial. So thank you, Paul. I'm going to uh, so show you the process. So here I'm going to the SharePoint. So uh, this is a SharePoint. I'm going to create a folder. So you see that we have different options here. I'm going to use create file. So it's asked about the site address that we have. I put the custom one and I need to put our site address here. So I'm going to put the site address. This is my site address. I put it as a custom one. Now it's going actually to detect the folder that I have. I'm click here. I want to kind of the, detect the folder. So I'm going to choose, for example, the share folder, uh, test Layla. And I'm going to actually, oh, okay, sorry, I just put that one. So share folder, text Layla. Oh, back, sorry. Let's just click on the wrong thing. So that's a one. And then I'm going to put it as OCR that uh, I put jpg and the file content is actually we are going to uh, 
kind of uh, get it uh, from the content that we have so is actually we are going to uh, using the create file content so i'm going to use that one and now actually it's going to create a file there now i'm going to pass this file to the component in a cognitive services that we have i have a video about cognitive services so cognitive services have different service for image processing voice recognition uh, language and text uh, uh, analytics. Uh, this is the tools that we have in the vision. So if you go to the cognitive services, there is a one that is uh, image uh, vision. And under that, we have that one. So you see that we have the option for optimal character recognition, OCR2 text. I don't want JSON, I want text. So here I specify the image source the image source is actually is my image content and this content should come from here but i need to do some change i need to write a function to actually convert the data to binary so i said that the data ura to binary variable and here i pass the one okay so just put it here and I'm going to pass the content over there. Okay, just the content. So this is the data to URI. I converted the file that I'm get from the SharePoint to there. So the process we actually call in Power Apps. We are going to put that image in a folder there. We create a file there. Then we pass it to the OCR. And we before we use it, we convert it to the binary variable now in the next step we want to actually respond back to the power app you see that we create so i want to actually respond back to the power app so i'm search for power app you see that we have the option response to power app so i need to create the result the result is a text variable the name is image text and the value is actually is detected text comes from the OCR one. So this is the process that we have. If you want to, beside that, you can add other steps. So you can add new steps. And for example, store it in Excel later on or show it in Power BI and the other. For now, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to kind of save the one. Before I'm saving, I need to put a name. So here I'm going to put a name for that. I call it OCR image to. Okay, and I'm going to kind of save it to have it. So I now I have a flow that actually is actually there. Custom value, yes, that's correct. It's provided that this is a custom value, that is correct. So now I'm going to actually to see that the uh, one has been created there. So if you go to my list of the view, you see that I have this one. I able to run it and test it to see that how it work. So uh, also you can back to the list of your flow. So this is the list of your flow. This is my recent one that has been created in 26 seconds ago. And you're able to run it. So uh, kind of run it now and you're able to see the result. But before that, I need to back to my power app and here connect the, um, the OCR, uh, the bottom to the flow. Let's see that how we can do that okay so i need to go to the action here you see that there is a flow there so it's going to connect to the available flow that i have there so it's take a bit time so let's see that the one that i have is here yeah this is the one so i'm going to connect to that one and it's going to be add there so it's the process of adding yeah so you see that is actually create a function for me here ocr takes to uh, actually takes to image to text so now i'm able to provide some attribute for it here 
Okay, so I'm going to, this is a function. I'm going to pass the function, the ID of the image that I have. So that was image one. That is the, this one is actually taken from here. And the result is actually, if you remember, I said that it should be image text. I specified there. And so this is the one, but I want to allocate the result to a variable. So I'm going to the home and put set. That means that allocate the result to a OCR result. And I want the result should be stored in this variable. So later on, I'm able to catch it. So this is a function that comes from Power App and is going, the result should be poured into the variable OCR result there. So this is the hold of that. Now I'm able actually to go and you remember I have a text. Now I'm able to actually remove that. So for now, I don't want any initial value I, I want to the this one is empty and I want that for the text I just want to show the OCR result that was this one so I want to show this one and also I want to specify some of the attribute of this uh, one so I want to show it as a double line so is actually you're not able to uh, kind of scroll down there so i'm going to look at the object overflow this one and its default is hidden i want to actually it's become scroll this one so it's actually you able to see that one so this is the all i'm just going to save the app Till now the time changes and now we are going to ready to test it I'm going to test it through the image here so let's go to the app so I'm going to run it and I'm going to change it to the front camera and I'm going to take a picture from the what I have here so for example, this one this is a purchase that I did yesterday. Uh, let me change the camera one. So now it should show the one. So this is the image. There. Now I'm click on the OCR. Hope so that actually we see the result over here. Uh, for the first time that you run it is ask you about the accessing through the uh, kind of your Microsoft flow and the other so it's better that you run it here so uh, we actually it's better to run it in the Microsoft flow so uh, to through here so you can test it here but because we actually we should get uh, so it's going to kind of test it to set that perform and it's going to kind of verify all of the access to the flow to the other parts that we have and it's actually help us to get all of the access that we need okay so that means that is working now now we are going to test so uh, before i'm running i'm going to publish it so publish this version and actually i'm publish it now if i go to the power app and refresh i should see the one that has been created here so i'm just going this needs to be refresh so as actually you refresh it you see that the new one now you just click on that and maybe it's asked you about the permission through the camera or the other thing. Uh, so here I'm going to put the image there. So I change the camera zero to one and then the one that I put the picture there. So that's actually a receipt that I have. This is a picture. I'm wait that is actually going to see the 
chart. So as you see here is actually is per not a perfectly, but actually really good to convert it to the text here. So we able to add other uh, extra parts to kind of uh, change it and send it to the Power BI or the other. So we can look and see that how we can change our Microsoft flow that be able to show this uh, data that we have here in other application like flow or the other. Okay. So as you see, that is actually we able to see this is a two one that I'm actually uh, kind of uh, get the image. So you see that how is actually easy to work with that. Uh, I'm going to show the power BI uh, chart that I have actually. So this is the two invoice there. This is the first one and this is the second one that I get. So that's really easy actually. So you see that how is easy to create power app through the action flow we connected uh, we, to the Microsoft flow that we have there. And it's really pretty much easy. Uh, and you can do it with other scenarios. This can be, so here, I'll just pass it to here. So maybe if I want, I can pass it to the another one that is the, for example, to the Bing search one to do some search analysis there through that invoice for example you search for a book name and then pass it here so there are different options that you can have and i think that that can be really useful for many companies